So what do we do when we have a lot of photos, but we don't want to add a lot of pages to our scrapbook album? Hi, I'm Amanda Farlinger with From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And we are going to take these photos of my house being delivered when I lived out in Manitoba. And there's quite a bit. There's 11 photos. And we're going to do a two-page spread using the trusty toolbox designer series paper from the celebration catalog so this paper i'll show you that in a minute it is free until the end of february so and maybe while supplies last so if you like this paper and i have an extra layout to show you too so you'll get to see three layouts today two will design together so make sure that if you want to be crafty to either come back to watch this video when you have a bunch of photos 11, 10, 12, um, something that you can cut down. The, the thinner, if you can make them the profile smaller, I'll show you what I did. But this trusty toolbox designer series paper is free with a $60 order. And the coordinating trusty tools bundle, which is this stamp set right here, with these dies here. These are pretty cool. I haven't used all the dies yet, um, but I love that there's a little toolbox that you can create and we're going to use the little nuts and bolts um, and the pegboard we're going to use tonight too. Um, but you can, I think this is for the ruler and the ruler and a paintbrush, and, but it also has um, the brush part here and um, the stamp set. You can stamp it, but you can also color in the handle too. So you could um, do the handle cut out this part and then cut out the brushes separately so you can layer this quite a bit all right so this is 75.50 for the bundle then you can choose this designer series paper for free and i'm not sure at first i wasn't sure about the colors because it was real red um, basic black um, copper clay crushed curry gray granite Oh, no, it's not red, um, real red. It's Poppy Parade. I apologize. So uh, basic black, copper clay, crushed curry, gray granite, Lost Lagoon, and Poppy Parade. So those are the colors in the paper. So um, some of these dies will cut out uh, some of these items. So like the tape measure is one. I think the wrench now the hammer is a little different like this is a ball peen or something like that whereas oh no it does cut up this one but there's another hammer on the other sheet that won't cut out um and the wrench so even if you just get the dies and maybe something else that will get you above 60 then i would definitely get these dies this designer series paper because they coordinate together all right i like putting my dies on magnet sheets it comes on um it comes with um a sticky like double-sided tape on some paper but i find it's easier for me to put in um, some extra stamp cases with a magnet sheet on both sides if needed if there's lots all right so here are the designs of this paper so here's here's the other one with saw and paint brushes there's no paint brushes on that one but there isn't here and there's a different saw so there's a saw and here's a saw and there's a drill and i haven't looked at all the pieces yet so here is all the designs and then here's the opposite side of these ones so i'm going to put this away for a minute i'm going to share with you a bonus layout i made this for a team meeting so um my upline runs a team meeting once a month and I created this for the team meeting. So if you have three portrait photos, they can go up here. And then I just did like a little Z pattern with some of the images cut out from the designer paper. So this is the uh, 12th design, this one here. And we're gonna use this one on another one of my layouts. All right, so we have the screwdriver and then some bolts piece i have some pieces cut out from the designer paper you'll notice like the little pe pencil here is uh, cut off that's from the edge of the paper same thing with the hammer and for the level so because i'm going to stick these behind the photos since there's so many photos i figured that if it was from the <coughs> excuse me from the edge of the paper it wouldn't matter so 
this here, even if you cut out these wire cutters, you can still stick them under something else if you're layering a couple pieces. Not a big deal. Or even, where'd the other one go? Like this saw, you could take the blade and maybe can we cut out a handle, possibly? You could probably take a handle from here or something from the drill. Just depends on what you wanted to do. So there's a couple different ways that you can use the papers and the dies and the stamp set all together. Oh yeah, and then here's some cutters as well. All right, so we're gonna start on this first layout just so I don't mess up the order of my photos because I have them from start to finish. And I've layered them, <coughs> excuse me, on gray granite. And the last one is Lost Lagoon because it's all together. All The house is all together. All right, so. Take some glue and put it along here. And this set is great if you have um, house renovations or um, even if you're if you like to build. My, my, oops, my father. I've helped him quite a bit building some different buildings, so um, I don't have those photos printed. Just clearing the, the glue off. I put too much glue on there. Anyway, um, I've helped him build some buildings over the years. And this bundle and designer paper will be perfect for that, um, for those pages. Granted, I need to uh, print the photos, but I better get on that <laughs> just in case I need more paper. All right. Let me just. And this is the glass mat. So if you aren't a demonstrator and would like to earn this for free, you can join Stampin' Up! until the end of February of 2024. And um, you can receive this glass mat for free. So it's $165 worth of product for $135, shipping included. And then um, you can select the glass mat or you can select an additional $41 worth of product. And I didn't know I needed this until I used it. I love it. All right, so the photos. So with this, because there were so many steps, there was lots and lots of photos that I took. And like I said at the beginning, I didn't want to add a lot of pages to my scrapbook album. So you could just layer them here like this. And I had them in another book um, that I created when we lived out west. But I didn't like, I don't like how it, there was too many photos, too many. I don't need all of them saved in a scrapbook. Uh, when I thought about how I wanted to store my scrapbooks, like over here, all my albums behind me, I knew that I wanted them in. Um, these black binder, three ring binders, and um, how I had this created before wasn't going to work. So I pulled these photos out and I already had trimmed them down. So all I had to do was layer some cardstock on the back. I did trim this one down so it was the same or similar height as this one. Um, and I decided not to trim this one down, even though it's going to hang over this one, because it shows the two vehicles. Now, this is really crazy because we have the basement that was put up when we had someone pour for us. And then the house came along and they, I didn't see it come down the street. I really wish I'd been there to see it come down the street, but I, I, I missed that part. I slept in a little too much. Um, so they pulled up beside the basement and then they shimmied it over the basement. And then they had these, cause it was sitting on these two long beams. And then they had to take it, take one beam out. So they had to lift it up off the beam. And then they put it on um, blocks here. See the little block above the window well? <laughs> they put it on blocks and they had um, some posts inside to, ho to hoist it up off the beam. It was, it was crazy. 
<laughs> so, but this is a story I want to remember because um, my dog and I, uh, um, Hoover and I, we went and sat in the back of our property. I took the Cavalier and I parked it in the back of the property and we sat there for the whole time and watched them do this. And it was just awesome. All right. Not something I really want to do again, because it was very stressful. But definitely something that was really, really neat. And I'm glad I was able to be there to see it. I'm eyeballing this. I can't quite remember. Yeah, that looks about right. Because I wanted to highlight the photos in the middle. All right. And thankfully, it was a lovely day. Not too hot, although there's no trees. On, there were no trees on the property back then. So it was something that uh, we didn't have a lot of shade. But it was a cool enough day. I think it was... I think it was May because we moved in in June um, or July. We moved in July. I didn't write the date down, so I don't remember. And I tried to go back and find it. Um, so I'll have to add the date on later. I'm sure I have it down somewhere. Um, this was before digital photos. So this was with my film camera. And um, yeah. But yeah, th this... This is pretty crazy. This is a ready to move home. So basically we uh, we were looking for a home that like a brand new home that we could build or or something. And there was ready to move homes, but a lot of them were um, like trailers, long, thin. And we lived in a trailer at a time at the time, a really old trailer that was on the farm. And so we knew we didn't want a trailer, but um, we couldn't figure out how like what we wanted to do. So we found this home builder on the Eastern side of Winnipeg that um, had this house already made and we walked in and we knew it was ours as soon as we walked in. Then the challenge became who was going to finance us. So we were able to be able to finance it and um, then we had to go through the whole process of, because uh, we already had the land, we had to go through the whole process of figuring out the hydro and figuring out uh, the basement and all that, because we had to have that ready before they showed up. And then they delivered the house. And it's all, everything's all installed. We just had to get the plumber and all the electrical just to get hooked up the rest of the way. All right, so there's those photos and layers down. So I'm going to go to the second one, and then we'll go and embellish both pages at the same time. All right, so now we're going to do this one. And this red, this red the poppy parade stripe with the gray granite, I'm not a big fan of it, but I wanted to, to pull the red from the screwdriver background over to this page. So I felt that I needed a little bit of the red. And I love this nuts and bolts in the Lost, Lost Lagoon. Oopsie, cover up the glue. There we go. Learn my lesson this time. We're going to use the fine tip of the liquid glue. Just put this on here. All right. So all the products that I'm using for this layout will be linked below. So if you want to have a peek, the description of this video will have those links for you. And if you're in Canada and would like to order from me, that will take you to my online store. All right, oops, let's lay out these photos. All right, so this is when they had the back almost down. And that's the back all the way down. 
um, and then look at like, that's that's just oh give me give me goosebumps. And then there's Hoover in the really long grass grass in the back. And then here's the house, and you really can't you kind of can't tell, but th there's a ladder. We had to climb up the ladder to get in the front of the house because of the elevation. <laughs> and um, until we got the front step poured. So that was fun times. Okay, I'm like, did I put this on upside down? But it goes both ways, so no big deal. All right, and I just want this down here, like so. And I was going to put dimensionals on the back of this. Let me see. Come on, I know I have. Don't I have? <laughs> Maybe I don't have. I thought I had some bigger dimensionals somewhere, but I guess not. we'll just use black ones. Why not? I have lots of mini ones, but I like I prefer using the bigger ones on um, bigger photos. That'll go on my my uh, next purchase list. Make sure to check your adhesive because you never know sometimes. You go to reach for something and it might not be there. And celebration's a great time to do that because every $60 amount you order, or 120, because there's some items in the celebration catalog that are free with a $120 order. So then you can uh, select something for free. All right. So we're going to pop up this, cover up more of the red. There we go. I was going to say Griffin. Griffin's our current dog. This is Hoover, our other Cocker Spaniel. Sitting in the grass. And this was a circle photo, but I decided to cut it down to a square because it looked weird that a circle was just hanging out at the bottom of the layout. You know, back in 2007, funky shapes were used in scrapbooking. Um, so I decided to nix that. Okay, we're going to put this down here. I hope I put it down far enough. Okay, and then we're going to do... So all of these photos started off 4 by 6 but I cut them down to fit more of them on a page at the time. And because I don't have them in digital format, I decided just to pull them off the old layout that was just really a piece of patterned paper with these glued down. So not much to it at all. Okay, not up there. All right. So now we can work on creating some of our pieces to go on our layouts. And we're going to use the dies. So we do have our cut pieces here off to the right that we're going to use on our layout. But we also want to make sure that um, we're going to use some of these nuts and bolts. I did cut some of these out before starting my video. So smoky slate is not one of the colors, but I realized we didn't have any silver foil and I didn't want to use gold foil, uh, but it has adhesive sheet on the back here to make it easier because these are smaller pieces instead of having to put some of the glue on. So I really prefer the adhesive sheet. So it comes in this really long and then I just cut off so they cut off the pieces. Oh, goodness. All right. And then a nice tool to have, because these are smaller, is the take your pick tool with the addition of, 
I don't know. Um, I never looked up the name of this. <laughs> the dye brush. That's probably what it is. All right, so this is thicker because it has the adhesive sheet on the back. But basically what you want to do is just put the paper side down onto this really thick foam mat. And it's easier when you put the dye brush right onto your take your pick. And you just go back and forth. Oops. And the centers came out. That's lovely. <laughs> but I want the rest of it to come out. So there's one piece. And there's the other two pieces. So then you don't have to get like um, a little toothpick, not toothpick, but um, um, needle or something. All right, so there's that. Move those over there. And now, I was intrigued by the pegboard die. So that's this one right here. And I thought it gave an interesting texture. Now, this one only cuts out the circles. It doesn't cut the edge. It will leave a possible um, um, embossed edge, depending. But I've taken a piece of smoky slate again with adhesive sheet on the back and cut it about this size. Because we're just going to do this as like um, a little accent behind photos possibly it's a little thicker with the adhesive oops, adhesive sheet on the back so now we have all these little holes see all the holes are filled up um and that's where this will come in handy as well to empty all those holes but I won't make you watch me clean that up. <laughs> All right. We're going to clean this out a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'm going to slide some of these off. There we go. I'm going to clean that up later. And then, because this is a glass mat, things just slide off. Probably shouldn't put that down on the floor for Flynn to eat. The puppy does not need to eat. Not that it's lots of paper, but he doesn't need to eat more paper. All right. So we have that and that. Now for my journaling, we're going to do two of these. And that's why I was hoping I put that one picture on the last page at the top right down far enough because this is supposed to be for the toolbox. But we're going to use it for our journaling block. So it has the circles cut out of it too. And does there's a little bit of a embossed, you can kind of see there, which is just fine. So then oh, get rid of these white little things, little circles, and do it again. Because one's going to be for the date and the other one's going to be for some journaling because I couldn't fit it all on the one journal block. So I figure if I did a second journal block, um, oh, right. I'm like, where did that piece go? I like putting my dies back. So I looked over and my dies weren't in the right spot because it's in my little trash can. Okay. Clean that out. All right. So I think that's all. Of the die cutting I need. <clears throat> so I'm really not going to stamp using the stamp set at the moment. <clears throat> None of the sayings work and I'm not going to put a title on this because it's more focused on the photos than it is on what it's for. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one's going to go over there. This one goes here. That one goes there. This one goes here. This one goes over there. I think we're going to put the pencil over here. Okay. 
put this one over here for now with and there's one of my white things here's the second one we'll put that with the other layout and put this all together all right so i should be able to so have you done any building or construction at your home or have you helped your um some family member whether it's your mom your dad your grandparents or someone um build something in the past or even recently the last big construction pro project i did was our basement um i can't remember what year that was either <laughs> aren't i horrible all right so i pulled out real red and that's why I was worried. I thought it was real red. And it's very close to that because it's poppy and it's a bright color. Um, and I was writing, trying to figure out what I wanted to write. Um, but I think I prefer the black, um, this basic black Stampin' Write marker over the real red. So we're just going to use the black. And we're going to trim this down a little bit because I just want to put the date on it. And I think it's May. We're just going to go with May. If I need to, I can fix it later. So, May 2006. House delivery. Let's just do that. And then we'll put some glue on the back of it. <clears throat> Whoopsie. There goes my nuts and bolts. Oops. <coughs> that did not go on straight at all. And they come up. Maybe it won't come up. <coughs> I wasn't careful when I placed it down. I don't care if I ripped rip underneath because no one's going to see that. Well, you will. You'll know it's there. But anyone that looks at my layout won't know that it's there. Okay. Let's try this again. Probably wasn't off enough, but... There we go. Did I do it again? I did it again. Oh, well. <laughs> it's going to stay a little crooked. And then this piece will just sit under it. So it's kind of tells what it is. And we already know what it is. Home de house delivery. But, um, and now... if I can take off the backing. That's the downside to using adhesive sheets. There we go. And we're using these as our embellishments instead of our kind of uh, like gems or whatnot. And you can use, there's some different gems that'll work really well, but I thought these were really cute. And when you put adhesive sheet on the back, it makes it a lot easier to put these on your layout. Okay, I think I'm gonna put one. I have to use my tweezers or my take, there we go. Or the take your pick tool is also good for pulling off the back. All right, so there's one page done. On to the second. Okay. Nope, I didn't put it down far enough. Sugars. All right. So now we'll grab the trimmer. Cut this up a little bit. Well, 
else? Sugars. I wanted to put that up there. Let's see if I can fix it. No, nope, that's not going to save me enough room. Oh, well. Okay. Have to rethink it. I could put it there, but that's where the saw was going to go. The saw could go up there, but this was going to go there. Maybe I'll just have to put it over the photo at the bottom because you really don't need to see the green grass. All right. So we're going to put this right back there. And we're going to put the saw this way, somewhere like that. Um, I was going to put the hammer here, but maybe I will wait until I get this figured out. And the little pencil. So make sure to use up that those designs that hide at the edge of your designer paper whether it's the trusty toolbox designer series paper or something else, you want to make sure to get the best of what you've purchased. And same thing with these dimensional edges, make sure to trim those up and use them. All right. So I'm just going to leave my journaling to later. Um, and we're going to add some of these little nuts and bolts. When I see these, I, all I can think of is the, um, the different size nuts and bolts you can buy at home hardware or even, low, well, Rona. I was going to say Lowe's, but it's now Rona Plus. And it's always interesting to see all the different hardware there is, but also not knowing exactly <laughs> what I need and trying to find the thing that I need is hard. But it's very interesting to see all those little drawers and buckets of different size fasteners and everything. Okay, put one more on, I think. Up there. All right. So there's the layout. Um, yeah, I got to decide on that part. I'm going to leave that for now. Okay. So there's our first layout. Here's our second layout. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six photos on this page. And one, two, three, four, five photos on that page. So there's 11 photos on these two pages. So let me know. Was this a good two page layout to share. This should give you lots of ideas of what you can do when you have 11 photos. And I picked this last photo as the hero image, the big one. So it's the big reveal, the house is on the basement um, walls and um, they've, they've left and it's ours. Um, there's no hydro, there's no water, but we were one step closer to moving into that house. And we lived there until we, we sold it in March of 2008 when we moved back to Ontario. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy stamping this week, and we'll see you next week.